So, here we are again. Another episode of Tiny Home Building. Today is April 8th, 2019. Almost a quarter of the way through the year. And here we are, still not living in this thing. But uh, I do feel that we are very, very close. But I've been feeling that way for a while, so I guess we will see what the next couple of weeks bring. Uh, we are hoping to knock this thing out and have it livable within the next two days. So I am hoping for some very good news on my next video. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. Got quite a few more changes. However, this is not one of them. Uh, I have not touched that drain pipe since the last video. Uh, I'm putting the drain pipe on the back burner for right now. Uh, we are just putting everything we've got into making the inside livable. And then we'll worry about other cosmetic stuff. Finances are continuing to be a huge thorn in my side right now. And I don't see that changing until we get somebody moved into our master bedroom. And in order to do that, we got to move out. So, yeah, number one priority right now, finish the bedroom, finish the bathroom. So, that being said, let's go ahead and go on inside here. Sorry, it's raining again, so I've got my very sexy Victoria's Secret umbrella here. Okay, get some lights on. Now we got the couch put back together. Uh, Shan Chan has actually slept on it a few times because she's been working so hard out here that she's just like completely and utterly exhausted herself. So, yeah, the couch has come in very handy. Uh, this area right here is like the only area left in the house where we've got a mess for things that we haven't quite found a place for yet. Uh, we've got that cabinet right there. Uh, that might end up going above the bed. It might end up going above the couch. We're not really sure yet, and we won't be sure until we get all the furniture put in here. So. Moving down this way, we don't have a whole lot of uh, progress from our last video because, I mean, the bedroom is essentially done. So, yeah, most of it's been done, uh, most of our work has been done in the bedroom for the last couple weeks. Uh, Shan Chan's plan for today is to, uh, she's not happy with the way the baseboards look. As you can see, we've got a couple of gaps right there at the bottom. I don't know if that shows up on camera or not. But uh, she basically wants to run uh, a layer of caulk along the bottom of the baseboard and another one along the top of the baseboard. And then we're going to paint that so that it looks nice again. But she wants this whole place sealed because she's been having a lot of problems with insulation. Uh, it has been going away the closer we get to completion on this project when we get everything sealed up and cleaned and all that, but uh, yeah, she's still struggling with that. So obviously she can't live in here if we're gonna continue to have insulation problems. So she's going a little overboard, but I'm going to let her do whatever she wants because it doesn't affect me at all. So whatever she feels needs to happen to get this place livable. Moving down towards the other end, you can see we put some more work into the cabinets up here. Uh, Shan Chan has stripped down all the cabinet doors and then installed them, and uh, they're basically ready for paint. So that's where we're at right there. Um, and pretty much the same thing for all these cabinets along here. We put the doors back on uh, this one over here. So yeah, they pretty much all got the doors on them at this point, and uh, We'll be painting that at our leisure. Uh, the kitchen is basically the last priority because we can still use the kitchen in the house. So we don't need to have the kitchen done to be living out here. So we're trying to uh, 
put a higher priority on some of the other things. Uh, Shan Chan did want me to do this last night. Basically, uh, make this whole side of the cabinet look nice. So I basically took uh, the piece of the countertop that had been cut out to put the kitchen sink in and then cut it up and modified it a little bit so that we can have a, a nice looking edge there. Uh, I also spent last night taking care of this, the counter end cap. Uh, that had ended up being a huge pain and a lot more work than it was supposed to be. We were expecting to just fasten it on there and that be the end of it. But uh, nope, things never worked that way for us. So I spent probably two hours working on that last night to make sure that it was cut just right and attached just right and blah, 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 blah. And I did the same thing for the other side. But I gotta say, it does look really good. So no arguments from me about the work that, that took. Uh, it was also a little expensive. This little kit for just the end cap was like 25 bucks. And then it was another 25 bucks for this piece over here. Uh, for those that have been following these videos, we do have a little gap right here along the back wall. So Shan Chan's argument was that if we have this thing, when she cleans the counter, we won't have a whole bunch of stuff falling back there and it'll be easier to clean. So. I also installed that last night. That was really easy. That took me all of five minutes. But again, another 25 bucks spent on that. So that was kind of annoying, but at least it looks good. Uh, kitchen window. Uh, Shan Chan has added uh, some window stickers that look really, really cool. Uh, we have those in the bathroom window as well. Not sure if those are showing up on camera or not, but uh, the colors on them when the sunlight hits them are really cool. Um, she just put them on the bottom so that we can still look out the window. So, yeah, nice little touch there. And then, like I was talking about in my last video, I have caulked and sealed this entire window. So, it's done and ready to go. I also caulked and sealed the uh, bathroom window, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, this over here, there was a big gap in here uh, between this thing and the wall that uh, was bothering Shan Chan. She was worried that we were going to get some more insulation in there, even though there is no insulation in this wall. But it was a concern to her, so I took care of that. I've got it all caulked and sealed. I made sure to use paintable caulk, so we're probably going to end up uh, painting this whole uh, frame section here when it's done. It's still got a little bit more work to be done on the bottom because it was a huge pain because Shan Chan didn't want to wait for me to put the caulk in there and spray foamed it. So I had to try and cut away all the spray foam without damaging the wall and then put the caulk over the spray foam. So that ended up being a huge chore and it's still not done. But uh, we'll probably get that done here within the next few weeks. So moving right along, as you can see, the bathroom looks completely different from what it did before. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work in the bathroom because without a bathroom, this place isn't really livable. So we got the cool stickers all through the window in here. Uh, we basically just installed this window for airflow. I mean, if you open it up, all you see is the shed in our backyard. So, and nobody can see in because the shed kind of blocks the view. But uh, we do get some nice airflow from that. And then I caulked and sealed this window as well. And Shan Shan finished painting it. So this window came out looking really, really nice, honestly. And uh, Shan Chan finished the vent up there as well. As I mentioned, she's been working really hard out here. Uh, she finished all the painting in here and everything. Uh, she also got this new toilet put in by her friend Chris. Uh, she'd been complaining about the toilet I had in here ever since it got installed. It was a free one I got off of Craigslist and it worked just fine so I didn't care because I didn't have money to buy another toilet. But she had somebody buy her one for her birthday so this is now installed and looks all nice and is ready to go. One thing I do like about this toilet is it's water efficient. It's got a button up here for number one or number two. So if you go number one uh, when you, and you flush it, it uses a lot less water. So that's kind of cool. Sink. I fixed the leak in the sink last night. Uh, we caulked it right there, but that ended up not being where the water was collecting. It ended up being uh, up above there. So I uh, put some painter's tape in there and uh, got that nice and tight, so hopefully that will fix the problem, but uh, we'll see. As you can see, Shannon uh, also caulked that entire area in the back of the sink there. 
little overkill with the caulk, especially around the back there. That's a ton of caulk right there, but uh, whatever makes her happy, I'll keep buying the caulk if that's what she wants to do. So we also caulked the entire area around the sink here. Uh, during my work week this week, Shan Chan was putting in like 10 or 12 hour days out here like I used to do. So now she's uh, sharing my suffering. We got caulk all around the bottom of the sink and all along the wall in here as well. Again, this is paintable. So she's going to be painting the uh, at least the top of it uh, green so that it matches the rest of the bathroom and looks a little bit nicer. But uh, her plan is to do this to every baseboard in the entire house. So you can guess how long that's going to take. Quite a while. So our plan for today is to get this done in the bedroom so at least we can move in and then work on the rest of the house at our leisure. Uh, I actually did this section here and this section here and all above the shower I did all that and I did it at the uh, tip of the faucet right there and this section I did that as well Shan Chan did the entire uh, shower so the shower is all caulked and ready to go at this point uh, a couple more days after this is done really nicely drying we should be able to test the shower out and uh, I caulked that handle as well. And this was a bit of a group effort. We both worked on this the last few days to get everything caulked in there to make sure that uh, no running water can uh, get behind this shower wall because we don't want to we don't want it rotting away our wood. So better uh, too much caulk than not enough. So yeah, we really caulked the heck out of that thing. Uh, one of my chores for today is going to be to clean this shower, although I, I took a bit of a stab at it last night. We had some paint that had gotten on the seat here, and I was able to get that off with some WD-40. And then, uh, yeah, basically we need to clean the bottom of the shower here, and the walls need a little bit of work. Looks like we got a little bit of a paint spot right there that I'm going to need to take care of. But yeah, that's going to be my main chore for today, and then I'm just going to be uh, probably mopping the bedroom and some other things to... Uh, get it ready for move-in. I also uh, reinstalled the medicine cabinet now that the paint's done. So we got that back up in here. We'd like to eventually put uh, a shelf along the top there and probably another small set of shelves down here just so that we've got some extra storage in the bathroom because right now uh, with both the water heater and the, uh, the breaker box in here we don't have a whole lot of room to store our bathroom stuff right now. So anyway, that's kind of a work in progress. So that's where we're at right now. And uh, you can see we've got the uh, drawers put back on the cabinet down here. And the kitchen's starting to look pretty nice. Uh, this one still needs to be painted, but uh, that's probably going to be that way for a while, I'm guessing. Not very high on our priority list right now. but. Uh, we got the fridge ready to go. We've got an oven. We've got a microwave. So, I mean, the kitchen is kind of usable at this point. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, we are ready to move into this thing. So, we're just going to have uh, Shan Chan finish her uh, caulking in the bedroom like she wants to do. And I'll start cleaning up. And hopefully, by the time I shoot another one of these videos in two weeks, we will be moved into this sucker. So, uh,. I've been saying that for a while, and we keep having setbacks, but uh, I am very hopeful at this point. So, hopefully, by the time I shoot another one of these, we'll have some good news. But uh, I appreciate everybody's patience and uh, my continued efforts on this thing. Uh, we will be getting some better content on this channel coming up soon, I promise. But I appreciate everyone's support, and I hope you all have a good day.